it's such a unique uh, video uh, I'm so rare this is only my second time here then I will ask you please send me to all of your friends and ask them to be part of my family let them subscribe to my channel and if you do have some questions don't hesitate I'm here for that Mm. A lot of tombs of uh, the monks who actually left the word and uh, met Jesus. Um, a lot of them, some of them are very important. Chris actually mentioned that uh, they're excavated in Qumran, in Jerusalem, in the city of David as well. Then a lot of them are very famous. Abbe, oh, he is very important. Well, well known. Abbe Vincent Hujo. Well, Biblik is the uh, school, the uh, university. Uh, yes. Then this is the entrance to the uh, burial cave from the Byzantine time, as you say. Now, then this is later than the eighth century uh, BC. We close the. Uh, let's go to see a little bit. Bizanti, uh, Bizanti in Buloma. Right, let me see what we can see from there. This is the 8th century tombs. Oops. And those are 8th century tombs, and if you actually visit the garden tomb, it's actually the same. Mm -hmm. You can see some uh, bones right there. Yeah. It looks, at least it looks like it. Can. The tombs were about, and then they collected the bonds as you already saw in the bond collector, just like that. You can see the bonds here as well. Same idea. True. Yeah. And even more, but let me stop. Slicha. Slicha. I'm not sure that I took a video. And let me show you again, just for the in case. Um, it's a Jewish um, tomb from first century, of course, of rich Jews. And let me let us enter to here. You can see where they buried. Oh, let me use the flesh again. Aha! Wait a minute, let me use <laughs> climb up. <laughs> no, you can see that's where they put the head of the person. And three tombs. 
And again, the head was there too. And later on, if they wanted to bury someone else, they had to, to collect their bones. And they used to put it in here. And you can see bones. It might be from 8th century BC. Yeah, they want to talk to touch it, but you can actually see it. Just go out. I mean, this is. I mean, I've, I've been here before. I've never been in the cemetery itself. Why uh, we found Jewish tombs here? Because it was outside the old city, outside Jerusalem. That's why. Uh, today, the Protestant believe that the garden tomb, which is just behind it, behind us, is the real site. Because today, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, which most of the Christians believe that this is the tomb of Jesus, is inside the city. I don't know if you actually know this, but the first video that I took today was about the third wall, wall of the city. Uh, it was after the time of uh, Jesus, but uh, the city is... Um, I mean, it's like, think about your city. 2,000 years ago, your city, I don't know if it was exist, but if it exist, it was totally different. Then, then I can convince you that both places can be the correct place. The best thing for you to do is to go to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, to go to the Garden Tomb, which is behind it, and then choose. Don't ask me to choose for yourself, please.